Hi guys! Today, me and Bluebell are going to demonstrate to you claw trimming. Are you ready, Bluey? Not everyone trims their cat's claws. Some people believe that it is not essential. They consider scratching posts to be enough, and sometimes it is because the cats lose the outer layer of their claws when they claw onto the scratching posts. But we find that sometimes they just get a little bit too sharp. We are using our catted long hair grooming kit and that comes with four brushes and these little scissor-like clippers. Some people are very lucky to be able to actually trim their cat's claws in this position uh, but Bluebell probably won't let me do this. If he does it might be just one or two or none. See, he doesn't really like it but fortunately he doesn't mind being carried around and held on my lap. I find it easiest to hold him on my lap like this. Um, you can also try to put your cat on a towel and put it in um, a sink. I've tried that before as well. It's best to get them used to it from um, when they're little kittens and then they just don't mind it at all. So I'm just pushing onto the paw to release the claw like this and then I can trim it. So I'm trimming literally just a tiny little bit like a millimetre or two, just the tip. Oh, see? This is the little outer layer of the, of the claw. He gets a little bit impatient because I'm talking. Normally he's very, very good with that. And the next one, I'm just pressing onto the claw. Don't worry, it doesn't hurt them. I'm just trimming the little bit. Just make sure not to trim too much because that can actually hurt your cat. They do have nerves uh, towards the um, the root or the root of the nail, and that can be quite painful. So let's just trim the little tiny bit from the top. One more, and the last. And we're done. Normally we just do the front ones. Uh, the back ones are not as sharp, so we just don't uh, think this is essential to trim them. You can see they are a lot thicker and not as sharp. So we can just do the front ones and then we can play safely. <laughs> of course, make sure to reward your kitty afterwards. So Bluebo is going to get a little treat now. There you go. You are such a good boy. And here we have Pixie which that's great, she's gonna get a treat anyway, but we will do hers afterwards. He's asking for more. You've had so many today, we are playing fetch. Since Pixie is already here, we're going to do hers now as well, and you can just watch it one more time and get a little bit of a closer look. For some reason, I find that it's quite calming when I hold a cat and I hold their paw. They just don't want to run away. Again, we're just pressing, cutting a little bit. We have one, two, three, four, five, and trick time. Giving a treat is a positive reinforcement so that they remember it as a positive experience and it's probably very important to um, find your comfortable position, so a position that you are comfortable in and that your cat is comfortable in. If you are planning on trimming your cat's claws, it's definitely great to introduce that from the young age. What I started with is just holding them and just playing with their paws or playing with their paws when they're sleepy so that they get used to that touch and that experience. We hope that you found this short video helpful and we're going to see you soon in the next one. Bye!